And heading to Egypt now, the country has signed a $4.5 billion deal for a high-speed electric rail line that will link its Red Sea and the Medi Mediterranean coasts. Now, the contract between Egypt's National Authority for Tunnels and a consortium including Siemens Mobility, Oraskom uh, Construction and Arab Contractors will cover design, installation and maintenance of the rail link over about 15 years. Here's CGTN's Yasser Kim with more from Kai. The $4.5 billion high-speed train is a 660-kilometer distance from Ain Sukhna port on the Red Sea, going through major cities like Cairo, the new capital, and Alamein to connect the northwestern coast of Egypt. The rail line is expected to carry about 30 million passengers per year. The high-speed train is going to be linked to Egypt's first monorail and the first electric train and together they will form what is dubbed by experts as the new Suez Canal on rail. Ahmed Nabil, who is a consultant for a number of contractors working on the project, says it has several similarities to the Suez Canal. We are talking about a dream, Suez Canal on rails, because you don't need to cross the Suez Canal by sea. You can load and unload shipments in rest seaports of Ain Sokna and go straight to the Mediterranean seaports by train. This will remap global transport and will attract new types of goods and products that prefer land routes rather than sea routes. The project is to be built and maintained by a consortium of Germany's Siemens in conjunction with Egypt's Kurascom and Arab contractors. But this line is only the first leg of a grand $23 billion high-speed railway project that runs 1.8 thousand kilometers around the country. The passenger train's speed will be 250 kilometers per hour, while the freight train is 120 kilometers per hour. That's double the speed of the current trains operating in Egypt. It will save a lot of time to travel to Sogna to Alemain is usually a five-hour drive. This train will only take one and a half hours. The second stage from the 6th of October in the city of Giza to Aswan, Upper Egypt, will save nine hours from the trip. Everyone knows the positive impact this has on the GDP and the benefits on the citizens and investments. You are bringing Egypt's north and south closer together, providing safe and fast means of transport to foster and ease in establishing businesses and investments in these regions. The high-speed train is part of the government's five-year plan to rebuild the North African country's rundown railway system and prevent recurring accidents in this vital sector. Yes, Hakim for CGTN, Cairo.